Did you know that physics is about how things move and why things move? It was Isaac Newton who discovered the three laws of motion. He was a scientist who lived from 1642 to 1727. Let's first learn about the first law of motion. It is also called the law of inertia. It states objects will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless acted upon by an external unbalanced force. To understand Newton's first law completely, we need to learn about inertia first. See, this is a very large sofa. What's special about it? It's stable. It is not moving. Now go ahead and try to move it. Oh, you can't. It's not willing to move. You can't move it as it is very large. Now try to move this small stone. Good. You can move it a little bit, but you had to put in a lot of effort. It was also like it didn't want to move from its original position. Even the smaller things don't want to change their positions. They don't want to move. Even a small stone takes some effort to move. This is the first rule of physics. Things like to stay where they are. No object in this universe would start moving unless some external effort is put on it. It's like all things in the world are lazy. Now, the question is, if things are lazy and they don't want to move, then how does the movement happen? The answer is that there are so many things in the universe which push and pull other things and force them to shift their positions like you force the small stone to move. But as we said earlier that things are lazy, they would try and stop their movement as soon as the effort was removed. Well, you'll be wrong if you think like that. You'd find it very strange to accept that when a small stone was still, it wanted to stay still. And once you'd put it in motion after putting some effort, it would like to keep on moving. In reality, it would keep on moving forever and ever. But somehow it stops. But it stops not because it wants to stop. It stops moving because things in its path force it to stop. It may be due to air or if it bumps into a tree or rough surface on the ground. But suppose there were no trees in its way, or there was no roughness on the surface. And also imagine that it does not have poles or trees in its way. The stone would never stop. It would keep on moving. It happens in outer space where there's no air or roughness. If you kick a small stone, it'd keep on moving and moving and would never stop. So how can we say that things are lazy? See, the small stone wanted to move forever, but it was stopped by the resistance of air, trees, or roughness of surface. It's like you moving on a slippery road. You'd keep on moving unless there was some effort put in to stop you. The same is true with the small stone in outer space. It would keep moving as nothing came in its way. It also doesn't want to stop as it is too lazy to do that. So now we can change the first rule of physics. Things want to stay in the position they are to things want to keep doing what they are already doing. If things are at rest, they want to stay at rest. And if things are moving, they want to keep moving. In other words, things are lazy. So there's a lot of laziness in the universe. Physicists have a special name for this laziness. It is known as inertia. So now you understand Newton's first law of motion. Can you write it? Well, you are very much right.